Hey guys, welcome to SS Intech. So, see this side, and this is continuation of SIS project. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can read the data from the Excel sheets in a single workbook. And we are also going to see how we can use the for each ADO.NET schema rosette enumerator. So, what is our plan? Our plan is first we are going to read the data from the Excel sheets and then we are going to compare that data inside the SQL Server table. If in the Excel file we are getting the updated data, then we need to update that data into the SQL Server table. So let's have a quick look of the source where we can see about the data. So in this Excel file, as you could see, we are having seat 1, seat 2, seat 3, seat 4 and seat 5. So first we need to read the data from all these Excel sheet and second here we are having the data for the product ID, name, safety, stock level, standard cost, list price and subcategory name. So first we need to check about the standard cost and list price. If it is updated inside the Excel file then we need to update that inside the SQL Server table and this update could be going to happen with the product ID and subcategory ID. Here we are having subcategory name. So by using the subcategory table, we need to get the subcategory ID. So that we'll do later in this video. So go to on the SQL Server and let's quick look of the table. So here I am using AdventureWorks 2K17. So if you don't have that database, you could install on your system. So here as we could see, I have written this select statement. So let me try to execute this. So I have executed only for these two product IDs. So here as you could see we are having this product ID, product name and other more informations are available. But we are more concentrate on this standard cost and list price. If anything is going to change in the Excel file then that should be going to update it right here. So here I have created the basic overflow how we can design the patterns. So as you could see first we are having this for each loop container. So this container will be going to loop through with all the Excel seeds. And once we are getting the seed, then we should get the data from the source, like from the seed 1, seed 2, seed 3 and seed 4. Then by using the lookup transformation, we need to get the subcategory ID. If data is matched, then we should have two outputs. First for the match output in this lookup transformation. Second, we have no match output. If we get the no match output, then on that scenario, the source data that we are getting should be loaded in the error file. If that is matching, then by using OLADB command transformation, we need to update the list price and standard cost. So that is our plan in this video. So go to on the SSDT and we'll try to design the package. So here, this is our SQL Server data tool. So first, we need to use the for each loop container. So here, we can directly drag and drop this for each loop container. Let me try to make it a little bit bigger size. Let me double click on this. So once we double click on this, here go to on the collections. So inside the collections, we could see the option for the enumerator. So here we can see this for each ADO.NET schema row set enumerator. So this enumerator is going to use for loop through all the excel sheets in a single workbook now go to on the corrections let me try to create a ado.net connection so click on new connection here i have already created the connection let me delete this and click on new connection so it will open a window so here we could see the provider so we can open that here we could see dotnet provider for oladb we can expand that here I am able to see this Microsoft Office 12.0 Access Database Engine OLADB provider. If you are not able to see this provider, then you need to go on the Google and you can search for this and try to download. I will provide this link on the description of this video so you can directly go and download if that option is not available for you. So let me select that and click on OK. Here we need to specify server or file name. So our file is available in this folder. So we can directly try to copy this Excel file and go to on the SSDT and paste it right here. Now we can go on the all. 
in this all property in the top side we can see the extended property so inside the extended property you need to write the excel 8.0 now we can test the connection connection succeed we can click on ok click on ok again ok inside the schema we are more concentrate on the table so inside the table we need to get the seat name only so inside the restrictions we could see seat names are coming third point which is the table name we need to remember this point like 0 1 2 3 so this is the index so table names are coming in the index 2 now we can click on ok go to on the variable mapping so here we need to create a variable that variable will be going to hold the seat name so we can directly click on new variable and this name should be seat name and everything is okay so inside the index it should be 2 because we have already seen table name were coming in third position now click on ok so we are done with this for each loop container now we need to test whether this is working fine or not so for that we need to use this script task so we can drag and drop this script task now double click on this script task here we need to take that variable that is created so that is seat name click on ok let me copy this and click on this edit script so it will take few seconds to open the script editor window so here we could see this main block so here we need to write the masses box dot so and in between we need to write dts dot variables and here we need to specify which variable we want to print so we want to print this seat name variable then dot value dot to string close the parenthesis now everything is okay we can save this and we can close it click on ok now we can execute and test our package so it should be going to loop through with seat 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is seat 1 seat 2 seat 3 seat 4 seat 5 so everything looks good we can stop this package and now we need to use the data flow task now so data flow task we can drag and drop in between this for each loop container below of this script task we can connect with the script task let me double click on this so here we need to design the package so first what is our source our source is excel file so we can drag and drop this excel source right here double click on this excel source now we need to make the connection so click on the new it will ask for excel file path we can browse and select that file click on open click on ok so here it is asking for name of the excel sheet so here we should not apply this name as it is because the name are coming from the variable so we can select that variable go to on the columns so it is not going to work so first time let me try to use this seat name then inside the columns everything is okay click on okay we'll make that change later as of now leave as it is go to on the lookup transformation so we can drag and drop this lookup transformation let me connect with the source double click on this go to on the connections so inside the connections we need to create a new connection click on new here we can specify the server name so click on this drop down now we can select this and inside the database we need to select adventureworks 2k17 click on ok again ok inside the tables so we need to select the product 
category table so that should be available right here somewhere so this is product subcategory go to on the columns so here we are having this product subcategory column and in this table we are having this name so this name should be going to match with the product subcategory name here we want to get this product subcategory id now click on ok so this lookup transformation will have two outputs first for the match output and second for the no match output so for the no match output we need to load that data into the flat file so we can drag and drop this flat file destination and connect this with the lookup transformation and this should be for the no match output click on ok let me create a connection for this flat file click on new click on ok click on browse we can select this excel data dot txt or you can create your new one click on open first should be the column names everything is okay click on okay go to on the mapping mapping succeed click on okay so we have done for the no match output next we need to check for the match output so for that as i told you we need to use the oladb command transformation so we can drag and drop and we can connect so this should be for the match output double click on that here we need to select the connection manager so this is connection manager that we have already created we can select go to on the component property inside the component property we should see for the sql command so here we need to write the update statement so i have already written that statement so go to on the ssms so this is the update statement so we are going to update this product table where the list price is question mark standard cost question mark product id question mark and product subcategory id question mark so let me try to copy this and go to on the ssdt and paste that query so first for the list price second standard cost product id product subcategory id you need to remember about this sequence list price standard cost product id subcategory id click on ok go to on the column mapping so here first if you have remember that is the list price so we can drag and drop for parameter 0 second is the standard cost so we can drag and drop with the parameter 1 third is for the product id so we can drag and drop for product id and fourth is for product subcategory id so we can drag and drop everything looks good we can click on ok so we have done with that let me double click on this excel source and here let me use the variable and click on ok so it is reflecting an error so first go to on the variable side and inside the variable let me put a default value on this that should be seat one dollar now we can save this double click on that make the change and click on ok here we are getting this warning because it is saying no rows will be sent to the no match output so that is ok we can ignore that now if you are going to execute this package so data that should be going to update in the table so first go to on the seat so in the seat one we are having id 680 and 706 so we have already selected for these two let me go on the other one like for the seat 5 so here we are having these two 939 and 940 let me include these two as well so we can execute and go to on the excel file so as of now we could see we are having the standard cost which is something 27 so let me add one right here second let me add one right here one right here and one right here so it is updated in the excel file now for the seat 5 in the seat 1 here we could see standard cost 1 so it should be 2 we can make the change for this it should be 2 
we can also make the change in the list price we can remove one from here and we can remove one from here we can save this if we are going to execute the package so this data should be updated on this sql server table so here as of now we can see we are having this one zero let me try to copy this and go to on the new window and try to execute this right click on this split right here so if you want to compare with the standard cross and list price then we can easily compare now go to on the ssdt and try to execute the package so this is for seat 1 seat 2 seat 3 seat 4 seat 5 so package is executed successfully we can stop this package go to on the ssms and try to execute this now we can check whether the values are updated or not so here we could see values perfectly updated as per our expectation so everything is updated and this is done now so here we need to more focus on one thing because here we are going to use this oladb command transformation so oladb command transformation is very slow because it is going to check row by row so how we can do the performance tuning on this ssis package so that we can also do let me try to create a new package which is the copy of the existing one so we can go and paste that and let me try to rename this first with the two and we can leave that so this is the second one let me close the first one so what changes are required so we don't want to use this oladb command transformation so for that we need to load all the data in a single table and after that we can update the data from that table so how we can do that so we need to create a intermediate table or the staging table so go to on the ssms and here let me switch back to the and here we need to execute this create statement so basically we are going to create this production temporary table and it is containing product id what is the product name safety stock level standard cost list price and subcategory id so only these columns this table will have let me try to execute this so this table is already exist in the database so i am going to use as it is now go to on the ssdt and here first we need to use a execute sql task before going to execute this for each loop container so we can drag and drop it here and we can connect let me double click on this here it will ask for the connection manager we have already created inside the query this is very straightforward like we want to truncate table and what is the table name we can directly copy from here and paste right there now click on ok now we can close this so we have configured this so this execute sql task is truncating temporary table now here double click on this data flow task let me delete this oladb command transformation so instead of oladb command transformation we need to drag and drop this oladb destination now we need to connect with the lookup transformation and double click on this here everything is set up we need to only select this production temporary table go to on the mapping so mapping should be succeed now click on ok so all the data should be available on this oladb destination so after loading all the data from all the seats from this temporary table or this staging table we need to use one more execute sql task and that will be going to update in the main table 
so we can connect after execution this for each loop container double click on that here we need to select the connection manager that we have already created here in the update statement i have already written that so that is very straightforward like we are going to update this p table which is the product table from this production temporary table and we are joining on the basis of product id and product subcategory id and updating list price and standard cost so let me copy this update statement and go to on the ssdt and try to paste it here click on ok again ok so everything is ok let me rename this so this is updating product table from temp table now if we are going to execute this your tables data should be updated so here let me close this vertical tab so if we execute this so as of now what we could see the data that is updated here go to on the excel file and try to make the changes it should be 59 only and this should be 59 only and here we could see 31 only here we could see 31 only so this is from the seat 1 go to on the seat 5 and inside the seat 5 we can have only 17 and here we could have only 15 and in the list price we should have only 12 and we should have only 10.99 now go to on the ssdt and try to execute the package so once we execute the package the data that should be updated so this is for c21 c2 c3 c4 c5 and package is executed successfully now we can stop this package and go to on the ssms and here let me try to execute and try to match the list price and standard cost so here list price was 2059 so here we have updated only 59 and here it is only 31 here we have 17 15 so everything is updated as per our expectation i tried to explain this in the simplest way so thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any doubt then you can drop your questions your queries in the comment section and if you stuck anywhere in the project then you can also share that in the comment section i will try to record a new video for your questions thank you so much see you in the next video with the new project